Welcome back to Celtic Fans TV. It's time to look ahead to Thursday's Europa League qualifier against Riga. I'm joined by Yanis Vitols from uh, Latvian Football News on Twitter to give us a lowdown on Riga. Yanis, thank you for, for joining us at such short notice today. You're welcome. Um, first of all, then, I just want to get a little bit of a lowdown on, on what Riga are like. Um, what is their typical, their typical uh, style of play? Uh, obviously, a lot of Celtic supporters probably haven't seen them play. Um, so if you could just give us a little bit of information on how they usually set up. So for a little background, Riga is the last two time champions in Latin League. And they are a relatively new team in Latvian. Latvia for like five years they are in Virchliga. So, but that's for the fans. But for the, about the their style of play, it depends on the, whether they are playing in the league or whether they are playing in the European competition. Because as we've seen against Tommy Bakabi, uh, they were playing a defensive, uh, defensive uh, like type of game. They were trying to get a score on counter attacks and just like that, because they are not, the Tolvi Maccabi team is just a too good of a team for that. And in the league, they are playing attacking football. They have very good wingers, uh, very fast, very technical wingers who are just making easy in Latvian league because it's pretty much it. But the level in Latvian league is not that bad. Uh, mostly because of those teams who are right now playing in Europe in competitions like the champions, Rig FC, and other teams. Uh, but the tactical is like, it's pretty much, yeah, it depends on the competition. They are attacking-minded team in the league and defensive-minded team in the European competition when the competition is getting tougher. Yeah, so just Celtic obviously um, exited the Champions League uh, by a 2 1 defeat against Fernand Faros. That was a big upset um, for us. I think Fernand Faros were, were viewed as underdogs going into that game. Um, are Riga viewed as huge underdogs for this one as well? Obviously, obviously. It's, yeah. But uh, for Celtic fans, do not worry. The Skonto Stadium in Riga is in very good condition. As you may know, <laughs> there was a there was a very <laughs> there was a very big storm that day. Uh, the stadium was broken down. The glasses were broken down. The stadium is very good, uh, so no stress in that in that regard. But uh, obviously, they are very big underdogs. But because of this situation about the virus, obviously there is a little bit of hope because. It is a one match game. There's no two legs. And I know there is a lot of Latvian old school fans who are very big fans of Glasgow Celtic, very big, very big uh, fans and since the nineties. So it is very special day for them because for the first time, Glasgow Celtic is gonna come here to Riga. But on the other hand, they are just there will be no fans and the atmosphere in the Skonto Stadium will be very good in that in that game. But what can we do? But for us, better will be uh, that it is one leg match. It is a lot better because in two leg match, there is no way we can beat the Celtic. Last, last year, last year in the Europa League playoffs against your which eliminated Celtic in the Europa League, but Copenhagen. knockout stage, yeah, Copenhagen. Yeah, yeah. We beat them at home, one nothing. We're very close to the scoring the second one, which will bring Riga to the uh, to the Europa League group stage instead of Copenhagen. So they are they are very big underdogs. They are, there is a lot of there is a lot of people talking about this game, obviously, because the Celtic coming in the town and but there's still people who are hoping that 
there is some chance that they will they will go on because the if you are looking at the playoff round stage there is if i remember correctly there is a bosnian team sarajevo and and budućnost montenegro team it's a lot better than celtic so it will be easier path if we help so how manage to get past celtic but that's not it there, there was a lot of um difficult ties that celtic uh or Giga could have could have got in the playoff round but we managed to avoid um the most difficult ones i think um who are the, who are the dangerous players that the celtic have to watch out for uh, as Riga are playing mostly this season uh, with two wingers, one center forward and one attacking middle midfielder under the forward. Uh, to me, it's both of the wingers who are Felipe Brizola, Brazilian player, who is for the second year playing here in Riga. And other is a, a Czech Republic uh, player named Jakub Hora. Who is who has experience playing with Slavia Prague in Champions League, in uh, in Europa League, and very very good players who can who can just like not like in Latvian League you can take on one on one and they can take on one on one with anyone because the defenders are not that good, great in that league, but but it will take a team play to get past the Celtic, obviously, because because the the Celtic defense, I heard they got Irish national team member Shane Duffy. Yeah, he's a monster. I, I saw he scored like two goals in his first two games for the Celtic. So it will tell, but the X factor for me will be the new acquired forward. Uh, Stefan Milosevic from Montenegro. He's he just got here in Riga two weeks ago, I think. He was he's loaned from the Belgium highest league Wazeland Beveren side. Uh, they have on their roster two active forwards before jo uh, before the Milosevic joining, and the one forward is injured, and the second forward has scored eleven goals in the league, but but to me he's he has scored those mostly those goals he has scored against the lesser teams in the league so it was shown that against maccabi he was not very very effective in that regard so i would say the x factor will be the milosevic who will be i guess starting the game and then it uh, the coach which is one other interesting thing about Rig FC, the coach is, has left the team. Is it going to be the assistant manager? Who takes yes, but yes, uh, likely he will be the manager because from what I have heard, the family emergency was was real thing because there was speculations in the Russian media that he's going to quit on the team, like leave the team, like that was just... Uh, one like a reason for him to leave the team but from latvian media from what i hear uh it's not true the family emergency is real and they are waiting for him to come back but about that assistant he he was the head coach for the team last year when they beat the copenhagen when they made the run in the europa league and uh, he knows the team and that's one other thing which is very good for the for this team. Do you think, obviously, Viga will set up defensively? What formation do you expect them to play in? Uh, I think the, they have played the all season long. What have they played? It's four defenders, two defensive midfielders, three, no, three, two wingers, one attacking midfielder, and one forward at the top. So, yeah, that will be their, that will be their formation for the game. I guess. Um, last question. Last question today. Um, how do you see the game going on Thursday? How do you think it will play out? Head is we are going to lose. <laughs> Heart is we are going to win, but uh, obviously, but, but 
it will depend on it will depend on the how good the Riga squad will because there will be a in the first 15 minutes in the first 20 minutes there will be a big pressure from the Celtic it's coming it is I can already see it and it will depend on how they will start the match and one one just one just uh, maybe <laughs> fun fact Celtic might be the first team to beat Riga FC on their home soil on their home stadium in European competitions because they have they have been undefeated there their two years ago won there last year they played draw against Dundalk uh, they beat PS Polish champions they beat Copenhagen they played draw against Finnish champions so Celtic might be the first team so we yeah we are we are hoping here for the luck of the stadium like because the draw was in the Scotland if we were going there was no chance yeah I think I think it's important that Celtic don't underestimate Riga and the game. <laughs> they don't take the game lightly because as you say beating Copenhagen last year and um, that shows you how dangerous they can be at Copenhagen so yeah I think it's going to be an interesting game and um, for your insight I think that's given us a much better gauge of where Riga are um, we know the, the trends are out wide. Um, the left back is an area of weakness, so hopefully, um, if it's going to be James Forrest playing out on the right for Celtic, then um, that's something we can get at. Like the video, comment your own thoughts below. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll be back tomorrow with the starting order prediction for the game on Thursday. Cheers.